we could take any other function. We could replace x with, say, e to the minus t u of t. That would look something like that. And y of t in that case would be e to the minus t minus 1, u of t minus 1, minus e to the minus t minus 3, u of t minus 3. And that would look like this. You'd have that, and then at 3 seconds, you would have a negative version of that. So that's one, and that's three. So it's possible to use an expression that relates the output to the input to find not only the impulse response, but also the output for different inputs. All you need to do is replace x of t with your different input functions, and then you, you have the ability to express it mathematically, like we did here, or to sketch it, as we, we did here and here.